So today let's take a look at this Delta Monitor cartridge replacement. This one's dripping. It's not real bad, but it's getting worse. It's going to continue to get worse. And the first step I'm going to do is cut my water off. So let's find our main water shut off. If you don't have one locally, we're just going to turn this clockwise until it's completely turned off. Then we're going to crack our valve and let the, uh, let the residual water drain out. And this one, we have a tub also right behind it that's lower, so I'm going to drain it as well. There's two different cartridges here that will get you confused. We're going to be using the RP19804, but they also sell the RP46074. So let's take a quick look at the differences on these. My shower valve was manufactured in 2005, and we can tell by the date of which shower valve cartridge we need by the manufacturer date. Am I the only one that thinks these cartridges resemble a droid? This is also another uh, cartridge summary reference you might find helpful if you're trying to figure out which one yours has. You can tell here you got uh, longer and you got shorter housings. So the first thing we're going to do is just take a small flat screwdriver and just work this little center cap out. We see it has little slots for lining up to put it back. And once we get that removed, we just need a Phillips screwdriver. I'm using a number two Phillips. We'll take this stainless steel screw out from the handle and just simply slide the handle off. And you see the slot here where it goes on. And now I'm just going to pull this chrome sleeve straight off. It just has an O-ring behind it, keeping it good and tight. And then once we remove that by hand, we should be able to remove this brass nut and this retaining nut of course with pressure on it will be hard to remove but with the pressure off it's easy and just remember here that we got two notches on the side as i'm showing here and your hot side should go to your left in most installations you always want your cold water to come on first and i usually try to wiggle these but they end up pretty good with the o-rings you don't want to wiggle hard just try to gently pull if it don't come then i usually get a flat head as you see here we just take a flat head from this viewing angle here maybe you can see it better and We'll work it in there and just pry it gently out and some of the water starts coming out. I think it's got a little vacuum on it. There we go. And it's out just like that. Just again, notate which way yours was in, which notch was on this side. Of course, mine's going to be the hot on the left side. When we go to put it back in, one thing we're going to do before we put it back in is just get something, um, even a toothbrush will work well and get in there in your inlets and just clean up just to make sure there's no debris that may have uh, come out from behind that valve that could cut your o-ring so just make sure we're all clean there and another thing to help with the o-rings i'm going to put some of the super lube on it i use this stuff on o-rings a lot so it helps with rubber in general just any kind of um, plumber's grease you want to use but this is just a synthetic uh, food grade grease that i can put on the o-rings It'll help with installation as well as um, keep the O-rings from uh, binding or rolling on you so they should slide in. And here I'm pushing gently, but I don't want to push too much because we're pushing on the main plumbing and the main valve. So after I got it started and feel the resistance of the O-ring, I'm simply just going to put my brass nut on there and run it up. I can feel it pushing right on in. I'm just using the clamping pressure, if you will, of the brass nut to pull it up so i'm going to back it back off and i'm just verifying that it is flush and i'm just putting the nut right back on wipe off any moisture and just make sure i got it good and tight but hand tight is all you need this guys no wrench should be needed here i believe we will have to make some adjustment on this skull control here because i believe from the factory it's going to limit our movement I'm not going to do it yet, just talking about it and showing here we have to move it back and forth. We'll put the handle back on and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We just definitely don't want to have it, especially if you have a household with smaller kids. You definitely don't want to get it where it's too hot. I'm just going to clean up everything here with some alcohol since the water's not running at the moment. I keep this alcohol around for my electronics repairs and things anyway. So just try to clean everything up good as I put it back together here. Chrome sleeve back on. I got the handle all cleaned up slide it back on i'm going to go ahead and put the screw in it for now and show you what i'm talking about with the temperature setting see how i got off and then straight up 
I just happen to know I run this shower about straight up as, as warm. Um, so I, I know that I just want to make mine go a little bit hotter. I mean, I want it to go a little bit further towards hot. Maybe not all the way, but probably at least 60 to 65% of the way. So I'll put the screw back in here and show you what I'm talking about now. We're off and see we up past halfway. So I'm going to give this a try. You can even adjust this, of course, after you turn up the water back on. So now I'm going to cut the water back on. And now that the water's back on, I'm going to gently crack this and get the air out. I've already got some air out with the, uh, with the tub that's lower. So hopefully most of the debris in the line that did break loose, hopefully most of it went lower. We see some in here also in the shower. And there we go. The job's complete. One thing I want to mention here, this is the old cartridge. And you can see here up close how the teeth work in this mechanical stop. It does the same thing as the, as the new style that like you see here. This is just like a little gear and uh, you just you just pull it and rotate it, but it does the same thing. I also here just see the physical difference between the 46074 and the 19804 like we used. You can see here other than just looking at the other picture, you can see the differences right here side by side. So for 2005 or older, you do want the 19804. Another quick tip here, it's, it's a good idea to do this pretty often anyway, but especially after you stir up the lines with some debris and stuff in the lines, I'm going to clean this strainer before I put my shower head back in service with a toothbrush and running water. And here's a little bonus, guys. First of all, you can see the stop maybe a little better here on my bench just showing you how that old valve worked and you can tell more about how the how the mechanical stop stopped it from going towards the hot to limit that or have that skull prevention but i also want to talk about a cheaper way to do this if you want to save money you can take this valve apart like so and as you see here we just got a stainless steel disc in there and then we have these spring and seats and this is why it's starting to drip and it's just going to continue to get worse these seats have gotten hard and the springs probably have gotten a little bit weak too, but as you see, these are little tapered springs and the larger diameter goes in first. And I would call the smaller diameter, the one where the seat goes back on. And these are really cheap guys from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, or you can get them off Amazon as I'll show later. Um, you can get several of these in a kit. And one thing I do like about Delta, is these work on a lot of your faucets as well as a lot of your cartridges so these are about 17 18 years old and you see on my finger here i'm showing you that they done got dry rotten and uh, coming apart so they they just definitely need replacing it this time but it's just that easy and it just snaps back together you just push it on there push it down and rotate it and of course we're going to have our our notches to the side and it pops back on just like that so that's one way you can do it if you did want to save some money I do have some extra o-rings here that come with that new valve i want to use it also and i'll have me a good backup for a few dollars so i'm going to have some links down in the video description of these replacement seats and springs for an example these are amazon links i'm also going to have a link for the rp19804 that i used here in this video this is an off brand and i'll also have a link for the more expensive uh, delta name brand replacement just if you're interested in it, they'll be there for your convenience. And these will be affiliate links, and any link you click on does help support the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. So if you found this video helpful today, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and God bless.